So you seemed genuinely surprised. <laughs> you didn't even have your shoes on. Well, I did have them on, but they weren't fully on. Right. I think sometimes before you think you're going to win an award, you do a sort of like a bit of a check on yourself right. to make sure everything's in the right place. And I didn't do that because I didn't expect to have to get up. So I didn't, what I didn't do was sort of fully put my shoes on. So by the time right. I was near the stage, they were it was about a, to fall yeah, off. they were flopping all over the place. But I th kicked them off and Pedro Pascal found them. So he uh, has my shoes. But they're very flat shoes they to begin with. They are very with, flat to begin with. I just think, yes, but I think I'm slightly mortified that I accepted that award barefoot. But as an Australian, <laughs> maybe it's kind of fitting. I don't know. I felt quite grounded doing it like that. So is it safe to assume that you didn't have a speech ready to? I certainly <laughs> did not. And maybe because I, 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 I sort of told a story. But I really kind of really was just thinking about that funny little memory about how much I like being an actor right. uh, the other day and sort of recounting it to my partner and saying... Because um, every time I sort of finish working, I look around and think, well, that was nice. I wonder if I get to do that again. So, do you really? Yes. I every time you think, I, I may not work again? Well, it's more just a sense of, like, what will the next thing be, and will it be soon, or will it be a long time in the future? Or um, Every time I do a job, it feels like a huge uh, privilege mm. to just be on a set and working with people. So. Right. And you just got over the flu, and you made it here. I did. Yeah. Thanks to vitamin C. <laughs> <laughs> so now, you're going to go back to Australia you're going to have to pay a lot of excess baggage fee because yes. you've got a lot of awards. Yes. How are you going to take them home? Three. I think yeah. we might have to get them in the hand luggage. Yeah, I think so. I did just buy an extra suitcase, but for clothes, not for <laughs> trophies. Well, those you could ship. Yes, that's true. The trophies I would hold I'm going to give you a to. call yeah. tomorrow when I need to pack. You're going to okay. tell me what to do. Okay. Okay. Good. Okay. Have fun tonight. How are you going to party? I don't know. I think we yeah. might go to a little party, but we might go and have dinner. Mm. Like very boring people, starving. Like a normal dinner or in and out? Not in and out. Mm. Um, like a normal dinner. Okay. Like maybe we'll like sit down somewhere and have dinner. Yeah. yeah. That's what I like about Take you. Take that huge yeah. trophy and just shove it on the table right. and have some dinner. <laughs> <laughs> and the dress stayed on. The dress stayed on. Speaking yes. of which, it was just you're getting food. one more award from Extra. You're getting best dressed of the evening. I wanted to tell you earlier, but I'm telling you now. Thank you. Yes, truly. Love oh, this gown. It's Armani, isn't it? It's very beautiful. It's Armani. And the smartest lady with the flattest shoes, <laughs> truly. <laughs> the flattest no shoes, yeah. Okay. <laughs>